and we're back. How cool is this? Uh, let's take, yeah, mine now. Let's take them away and walk. Go for a walk. I think we're gonna start off by making 20 of these. We'll need those for logistics. Give me the coal. Uh, just here, have a little bit of that. And you have a lot of this. I think our best choice would probably be we want them to possibly like do a hard tap just as much as possible. 1.2k should be enough for a while. It, it, I'm not saying it's a huge amount. If you think about other things, I'm just saying it's probably enough for a while. And let's plop this down here. It's a little bit more accessible than up there. I don't think I'm going to need to visit uh, the the boilery anytime soon. And saying it's a boilery is extremely generous on my behalf. It's two boilers. Uh, it's one boiler and uh, two steam engines. So. Very generous. So I want a couple of these. Two of those. What did we run out of? Oh, iron. Tempted to say something goofy. do for now. Do you think we'll need a little bit more? Alright, so now. Come on. I can do this. I know I can. For now, this doesn't make a huge difference. All right, and inserters. Actually, I don't want them here. I want them here. It's gonna look so, uh, so, so scuffed. It's, it's gonna be amazing. People are gonna be commenting, how can you in good conscience make this? And my response would be, who says I have a conscience? Alright, 
we have we need one more belt just one all right this guy is getting his uh, lovely uh, stuff too and now you go here you go not there um, and two more of these A lot more of these. Looking forward to animating that too. And give me the box. I don't have, I haven't made the box yet. All right. I'll allow it for now. And you make gears. You make belt only four stacks thank you and that's that's gonna be enough for now kind of dark it's kind of dark in here Do you think I want to replace that burner inserter with a non-burner inserter? And up next, I like steel processing. No, oh, it's a normal inserter. How cool. I forgot it's a normal inserter. Yeah, for now we're not actually producing red signs. That shall be fixed pretty soon. So, you here. Oh no. Also need a bunch of electric pulse. Good thing we have an entire forest for us to make these things over here. Oh god. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Fortunately, I caught it in time. I don't know if automating miners entirely is a good idea. Although having uh, electronic circuits ready to go would be really nice. Alright, let's take some belts. I'm just gonna place this over here. Bring it down. Whole big bench. Oh no. Okay, I didn't fuck up yet. That's great. Hope you appreciate that yet. Oh, no, I fucked up. There. See? Told you. There's probably a reason why most people build their arrays horizontally. 
Uh, and we're probably going to fix that at some point. And give me a couple of storm furnaces. Hmm. All right, we'll, we'll fix that in a little bit, because otherwise it will stop producing belt, which kind of sabotages the entire thing. I think this iron needs a little bit more. Oh, it does need a little bit more, but it can't get it. So in six. Cool, cool, cool. Give me more belts. I think we're all right on belt for now. And we need more inserters. Yeah, I'll put to here. drag doesn't work. And let's bring some electricity down. I think these are all going to go, so I'm just going to bring down the electricity through here. And I swear, when we get better poles, I'll fix this. I feel like I'm, I'm running for office and I have to make a lot of promises that I might not be able to keep. this around. And I actually want to bring it down a little bit. Which might be a good idea because I, then I can also pack some of this stuff. This is done. This is done. This is done. This can go. This. 
Yay, and now we have more rooms for more ovens that we're not currently fueling. Um, how's the consumption is fine. Character in the way. You're in the way, game. You're out of line. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting trying to to achieve some form of uh, efficiency with this game. I think splitters should go here. Does that okay? No, oh, no, it's too high up. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Oh no! How much lower does it have to be brought? Also, I don't mind having long buffers for now. I say that like it's a threat. Jesus. All right, you know what? We're gonna do this here. It might not be a completely terrible idea to have some of the setup here be horizontal. First off, I don't have to go crazy uh, with... Actually, yeah, that, that will work. Uh, go here, go here, and output into box. All right. This is going to make gears. This is going to make... No, not science. It's going to make a belt. All right. So we've, uh, we've redone this. And now it's going to be a little bit closer to where we're going to be working, which is what we're after, essentially. And this needs to stop after four. Hmm. All right, and now. Uh, time to make a couple of assembly machines. What do I want our total red science production to be? Now, one per second sounds really cool, um, but I need to figure out. So, one red science requires one iron gear oil and one copper plate, uh, which requires two iron plates and 0.5 seconds crafting time. So theoretically, we could have one gear maker inserting into this. Out, actually, no, okay, new plan. I need a splitter, an underground belt, and a ton of belt. Okay, we have our splitter, which is ingredient number one in this magical uh, recipe. Um, underground belt goes over here. Um, we're gonna underground belt to here. No. Let's just give it some breathing space. This comes over here. It's gonna pop into here. We're gonna have, this is gonna be the gear producer. 
uh, gear producer is going to need iron. It's going to output in here, going to input from here. Then we have just slightly down the line. Output, input from there, output here onto a belt. And where's my lab? Q is the magical key that helps us uh, clear the thing we have uh, selected. Man, hotkeys are great. Hotkeys are hot. So we have that splitter that we needed split off. Uh, go to here. This isn't super resource intensive, so I'm not particularly nervous about this. But uh, hmm, no, okay, better idea. Flows the other way. Right, and it's gonna encounter another flow. It's gonna go this way. Place the lab over here. Uh, you're going to feed it. This has everything it needs. This has everything it needs. This has everything it needs. So let's uh, let's tell them what to do. And power it up. And great, we don't have any extras. All right, and now we can add, we could do up to 10, but we're not gonna need 10, I think. I think even the efficiency stuff doesn't help boost it up that much. Maybe maybe I just uh, don't know that well. Meanwhile, I'm just uh, putting down belt. Red signs, red signs, red signs. Ah, the, the electricity is still holding up. Now, to double the sense output, and the last thing we're going to do for today, it's going to be making a new... Uh... Oh no, no, don't put it on the ground. What are you doing? That's littering. Bad inserter. Character is in the way. Game is pretty mean about this these things. And theoretically we could even make a third one. All the ovens are functioning here. I see. I see game. I see how the game is gonna be.
I think I want to just add one more uh, copper miner. No, we're not using that much copper right now, but once we start getting into circuitry, it's going to be a lot of copper that's necessary. But yeah, the idea is um, we're going to have a row of 10 labs here for now. And we're going to have a belt that goes down to here. And it's going to bring in the green sands. And the green sands and the red sands are just going to share a belt. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've had a good time. And uh, tune in next time for a more inefficient building.